On the back of the surface unit switch, note the location for L1, L2, the two blue burner leads, and the surface unit indicator light. The colors and locations may vary by model, so be sure and check your specific switch and schematic for colors and location. After unplugging the range, you can test the indicator light contacts for resistance by first isolating the circuit. Note on the meter that the circuit is open and no contact is being made from terminals P to L1. That is because the switch is in the off position. Turn the switch to any on position and upon retesting the contacts, note that they are now closed and performing properly. An open reading at this point would indicate a bad switch and the light would not turn on with this particular surface unit switch. To proceed to test the burner contacts, again isolate the circuit by removing one of the wires and read between contacts H1 and L1. With the switch in an on position, the meter should indicate a closed and working circuit. Take care when removing wires that they are returned to their proper terminals. And finally, test the other burner contacts between H2 and L2. Again with the switch in an on position and the circuit isolated by removing one of the wires from the terminals being tested, you should see a closed circuit. All of these tests were performed with the range unplugged and you can repeat any or all of the tests on the other three surface unit switches.